All right, so we're gonna be playing Kid. Um, I'm gonna just go through the deck list real quick. Uh, I'll be honest. I mean, I I've won two tournaments. I went five and zero in one, and three and zero in the other one, and then I have a one after that. But this isn't the deck list that I played for those tournaments. It's very very similar. I would say the only small differences is the Yamato and the Paradise Waterfalls. But I found that they do. Uh, sometimes I want them. I only play one Yamato because I can always search her for with Momo and like again worst case scenario She's just a counter in hand um, I would advise you guys to try out this deck list uh, First maybe do like three to five games with it and see what you guys like about it What you guys don't like about it and tailor it to your play style because everyone's gonna have different play styles uh, But this is what I found is best like some things that I tr bounce between that I'm not really sure is having four okikus and two basils or three okikus three basils never never four and two obviously but four okikus and two basils and the other thing is uh i bounce between four eight cost one seven cost and then three eight cost two seven cost but i feel like eight cost is good against every single deck where seven cost is only good against red green and Blue, of course, <laughs> you know, you play him, he gets bounced to the, what's his name, Doflamingo, or gets put at the bottom of the deck with Mihawk, so that's not fun. Um, I These two guys, they're honestly very important because my playstyle revolves around the 8-cost. I do need more 3-cost blockers, and it's a 3-cost 4k blocker, so it can come in in the beginning if they try to do a low attack against your uh, Momo or your Bonnie. Um, it, it comes up where you can just defend it. And then they're forced to attack with their leader, you know. Um, uh, let me see the other things I want to explain. I think four Izu's four Cat Vipers are so important. These cards are insane against red and green and sometimes blue. And even against purple, like, you can stop their blockers so you can hit their big uh, characters such as Kaido, King. And their, their counters, Izu's a 2k counter, it, it's just insane. Uh, Raizo, I feel like, is definitely nice. He gets you card advantage, which is what you want in this deck. Uh, four Apus is necessary. You need those counters. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. I played three Momos because I don't want to get clogged up with too many. Like, sometimes I want to think about playing two. Um, but, yeah, that's that's really it. Uh, oh, yeah, real quick. I feel like two Paradise Waterfalls, two Killers are pretty important. Uh, the trigger is insane. It's just, like free board control um and they're, they're very very good against uh you know obviously red and green you know but even against purple like this card is it's a 2k counter which you're gonna need and this it can also just be a counter uh, you never really use this against purple you just keep it in your card against uh as a counter sometimes it comes up you know like everything but um let's go into a quick game okay so blue so this matchup is very easy bro it's Izu. This matchup is Izu. Uh, he mulliganed. I'm going. He's going what? Just to go first. I'm going second. I think this is good. I'll keep this because it's good early game. But we're gonna need to get that eight cost. Uh, I probably should have mulliganed because the eight cost is important. But uh, I hope he does a. I mean, I hope he does a. What is it called? A swing like a blind swing and misses. He's probably gonna play Dofi though. But he did mulligan, so he probably. I don't know if he got him or not. Let's see, I don't think they have too many... Oh, there you go. I'm playing against blue, so, so guys, uh, sit back, put on some... Uh, not put on some popcorn. Get some popcorn, put on some music, light some candles, and uh, try to enjoy the game. Because uh, blue, just them placing the, the cards on top uh, takes 10 years, you know, so... I think for our next play, I'm going to think... I don't think we search with Bonnie yet. I try to search with Bonnie uh, on the third turn and try to hit a law. Um, but I think I could, I think I could because I have a blocker. He's going to have five. Yeah. Against blue, bro. Take it. Always take it. Oh, that would have, that would have been nice. Oh, we actually have the law. Okay. So we don't need to search with Bonnie right now. We can just, uh, um, yeah, we don't have to search with Bonnie right now. Well, if we do, if he's going to attack... Actually, I think a search with Bonnie would be good, but I would want to bounce. No, no, I think I think search with Bonnie is still good. 
Because if he's going to bounce stuff, bro, he's going to prioritize the Okiku. And if he tries to attack the Bonnie, I can block it and then I can counter. Uh, worst case scenario, he attacks with his blocker, which is really good for us. Oh, uh, he got a tr potential. Tr oh, no, okay, no, we're good, we're good. Uh, let's search with money. Let's see what we get. Uh, killer. I mean, if he attacks with this, that'd be really good. We don't need the too many. We already have an Izu. I think I'm gonna do this because if he if he is forced to attack with the Dofi, I can just law like uh, something back and then put killer. And sometimes he puts, uh, what's it called? Uh, well, he's definitely going to do us an attack for 7k. But we don't block it, bro. <laughs> well, if he doesn't attack 7k on Bonnie, we block it for sure. But um... uh, let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We are chilling right now. I think the Bonnie is... Oh. Damn, that's that's tough. But hey, man, that, that forced him to do this instead of... Do this 7 attack swing. That is tough for us, though. Should have thought about that. I think it's still fine. I think it's still fine. He has one Dawn. I don't know if Dofi's play. What the fuck? Hmm. I okay. I usually take two life and try to get the eight cost kid. If I don't, I change my playstyle. I think I take this. Oh my god, that's just beautiful. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Oh, and we got <laughs> Bro. This is too good, man. Oh, man. This is too good. Okay, let me think of what we want to do. I think we do this. Because this is going to force him to either take life or use counters, which is very good for us. Um, next turn, we're just going to drop the 8-cost uh, kid. And we should be good. E even if we drop the 8-cost kid and he brings us down to 0 life, we're still winning the game. Like, that's that's how good this 8-cost is. And imagine I was playing, not the 8-cost, but I was playing... Oh, actually... Oh, no. I could have... No, no, no. That wouldn't have worked. I need to drop down the law here. I think we bounce Okiku back and we put put her up. It's a lot of pressure. Okay. Um I think we do this. Cuz now it, he has to like use shit to get rid of her, not he can't just attack her 7k and we're forced to use counters. So I th I think that's a really good play. Again, bro, next turn, we just put the 8... Bro, 8 cost kid is... Uh, oh, my! I just noticed my camera is blocking the... Uh, I'll put my camera down here, maybe. Alright, he puts a blocker, Kuma, and another blocker. And now he's going to attack 5k. I'm just going to block it. This is why you need to attack first. Like, if he just attack first, I'm not going to use law. Actually, no, 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 I would, I would. Anyways, because uh, blue doesn't really have rush. So, I would have done it. I honestly think we should still take this because we need more counters for Captain, but but it's too good. Like this is way too good of value, and we might take hits next turn. Um, so let's see what we do here. I think I attack first here. Okay, because I need. Do I need to drop eight cost? I think dropping eight cost is really good here. Force him to use counters or take alive. This is just five K swings are so good, bro. Okay, and now we just drop 8 cost, and I would use it for Raizo, but we kind of need counters. Actually, no, we don't, bro. Bro, Raizo is way too good. Raizo is way, way, way too good. Just uh, to let you know what I was thinking. I was thinking... Oh. Um, so I was thinking of not putting Raizo and putting the Beji because this is a counter. But at the same time, Raizo is going to draw us a card next turn. Um, if he's still alive, I mean, I don't know why he'd bounce the rise on Okiku, but yeah, he would help us draw a card, so that's more counters. And this is why I play one 7 cost kid. Because the 8 cost just absolutely wrecks. That is, that is so bad for him. He hasn't even used Dofi's effect one time this game. And he's attacking with blockers. And I'm taking this, by the way, because, again, man, against blue... 
we take those. We're all, it wasn't even a counter, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. One sec, I'm recording a video, man, so... I think we take this as well. Oh, the Yamato as well. Oh my god. I think we take care of his board a little bit. Um, we'll put a Dawn there. Um, yeah, this is just so good for us because uh, he doesn't know, but we're going to drop the Yamato. Um, even if he gets the, uh, what's it called, Pacifista, I, I don't care. Um, I'm trying to get rid of his blockers so that next turn I can go for the win. Because he's, he doesn't know, th and this is why Yamato is so good, man. Because I'm going to drop this 5 beater and he doesn't know that I'm about to get a lot of swings on him. Um, I think I'm going to put one there. Yamato's going to be 5. Oh, and I need to drop a blocker. That's what I, actually, do I drop the Yamato? No, we have enough counter power in hand, bro. We have enough counter power in hand. Uh, so we do need to drop a blocker. Uh, so we'll swing for five here. And then we're going to put one on Kid, obviously, because we need to have his ability be present. Oh, damn. Uh, I hope he blocks this. Okay, if he blocks, if he takes this life, we won't drop Yamato. We'll put the law. If he doesn't, we'll put the Yamato. So this is why it's important to do your attacks first. See what his resp responses are. Okay, there you go. So, so now Yamato doesn't do shit, basically. <laughs> so now we can, um, I think, give two here and attack. And then put down our, our law. Because now we're going to have two blockers one being five cost so there's no way he's taking care of that okay he countered that uh so we'll return the killer so that's one extra counter that we have and well we're gonna not have it soon and then put this blocker and that's it i mean guys imagine you're this do flamingo right now you see your opponent they have 10 cards in hand and a full board and he's drawing every turn with Rizo. He can rest your blockers with Okiku, and there's literally nothing you can do about it. You can't return this game. Blue has no direct answer to 8 cost kid. This is why I play for it. Because the deck that sometimes can shit on you, you're doing good now. And look, it doesn't matter how many blockers he... He can put down 7 more blockers on the board, we're still winning the game. Because we have complete control over this. And right now, I mean, whatever he attacks, I'm gonna use a blocker. Because I have so many counters... Guys, this is... You can't help but smile when you look at this. You know what I mean, guys? And I'm sorry if you're a blue player and you're watching this, but this is the reality of the game. And you have cards like this that exist. You know what I mean? So... Like, look at this. We have 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 K counters, and then a 2K, potentially. Um... I mean, do we even block? I mean, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll block it, man. It, like, I block when I want to. I might want to put something on the board, or I don't know. I just feel like I would rather have counters in hand than blockers when I'm this um, ahead. You know? Oh god, this is just too good, man. Um, so definitely one here, and I'll. I've, attack here and i'm gonna rest this so that he doesn't have a chance to put down a pacifista uh he can have that next turn and i don't care because i'm always gonna get um i'm always gonna rest it with uh okiku okay he puts a 2k um again like he can use like oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> we are not in a hurry to do anything bro um like right now we just attack you know what i mean we don't need, I don't think we even get rid of his Dofi because we don't care. We're just that ahead. Uh, I'm going to do two 7Ks and then three. Let me just think. That's going to be five and then two. Yeah. I'm going to do two 7Ks. 
you want to do two seven k's when they have blockers obviously like two seven k like doing two seven k's and doing a nine k never mind I, i'm not gonna explain that but what is this oh he drew a card okay um i'm gonna do this i'm gonna trash uh basil we do literally don't need that guy So yeah, now we're going to give one to kid, attack 9k, and then put a blocker just in case. Okay, so he can't even... That's just insane. And now he's going to have to block this, because he, he doesn't have anything. There you go. So now, there you go. And then next turn, we're resting this again, which is why we don't even care. So there you go. This is why it's insane. You're just drawing one with Raizo every turn, and there's really just nothing you can do about it. I mean, I don't know why this guy hasn't conceded. This guy has five cards uh, from board and hand in total. And I have five just on the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten cards in hand. And like, you're probably asking like, why maybe didn't I put keep one for, for uh, this? Because it doesn't even matter. Like, like right now he can only do one attack to this guy. You know, so... And I'm gonna rest this guy with the uh, Okiku, and then I have <laughs> four attacks. Y you know what I mean? But hey, man, like I, I like how this guy is trying. Again, like Yamato would have been insane if he countered. So, okay, he disconnected. So yeah, guys, like, um, let me know if you want me to make more videos. Like, like this matchup, I think we had a good hand. Uh, he didn't really use Dofi ability too much and drawing this guy was clutch he was he made it a he made it so it was possible for us to just put him down take a shit ton of life and just get advantage like that's what this uh deck's about so uh this is <laughs> i mean this is the really good side of it sometimes like this deck does horrible against purple and it's because they have naturally huge bodies and the good thing about green is you can commit to a crazy board and there's nothing your opponent can do but purple has a 10 cost, so you can't ever commit too much. Even if they don't have it in, in their hand, for you, you just cannot commit that much because if you do and they have it, you lose the game. Um, but sometimes committing is the only thing you can do. Um, I could I could do a match uh, for next video where I go up against purple and I show you guys like how tough that matchup is. Well, I have a friend that plays purple really, really, really well, and he is a very good practice for me. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you want me to do more videos. Uh, let me know if you like the format of this. Like, let me know if you liked that I did it live with no cuts. And let me know if you want me to talk less, if you want the music. Like, I mean, it's not like it's not like when you say something, I'm going to do it. But I'm going to take it into account because, uh, I mean, I'm just starting this channel. So I want to make sure I improve it. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching.